Hello and welcome to Connie's Crazy World. I'm Connie and today, July 29th, and we are going to do a quick little garden tour. Let's go ahead and start off with something that I don't think I've shown you guys before. This bed right here is mine and my mother's native bed. We've had it for about four years now and it is just beautiful. And you can see the beautiful cup plants. Aren't they just gorgeous? I love how tall they get. Um, we've got lots of milkweed in here. Some more trucks going by. Um, different type of a fake sunflower. Calendiums. Bee balm. Ironweed, which is so tall this year. Some nodding onions. Some things I can never remember the names of. Combine. And you'll see the bee balm. Really got the bees hopping. You'll find some tons and tons of wild strawberry. Oh, one of my favorite plants, the Rattlesnake Master. I can never remember the names of these guys either. I love these little guys right down here. They spread all over. Bee Balm is happy. Oh, don't forget the milkweed, the swamp milkweed. Um, my path has a little bit of a problem. Have not cleaned this out. Really need to. Um, we got some bluebells down here. Over here. You see that beautiful wild petunia. Some goldenrod. All right. And so that is our native bed plot. Next, I'm going to take you back over to the garden. Well, the garden is just looking absolutely beautiful. We have had some issues, but we'll talk about those in a minute. Right here, we have our leeks doing great. Our cucumbers are just starting to blossom. Um, and of course, you got to have a sunflower and everything. Over there is a winter squash. I can't remember which type. Here we've got another winter squash that is starting to really grow. This is my zucchini plant that of course has a sunflower in it. I've been getting quite a few out of there. Um, my petunias are going wild. Parsnip, carrots. I do have some char in here that's starting to take off. Um, I had some potatoes that went to seed in my pantry, so I planted them. They're doing great. Over here, this is where my onions and my garlic were. And I had this tomato plant that was just kind of growing. But the volunteer left it. I had some determinate tomatoes that I had planted that didn't really do much. And they were still sitting in my greenhouse, so I stuck them in the ground. And I've planted beans in here. Okay, over here, what squash is this? I wonder if I have a tag. Ooh, this is a banana melon. I'm really curious for that. I hope it comes. You'll see my first round of potatoes are all starting to die back. Um, so this is my broccoli and cauli my broccoli and stuff. Oh, this is another tomato plant that I had in my green inside greenhouse that I just planted with some beans. It's doing great. Um, it's been really hot in the 90s, 80s and 90s, so I've, um, I've gotten small broccoli heads. I never did get a really big one, but I've been getting lots of side shoots. Um, this over here is supposed to be purple sprouting broccoli. I've never grown it before. Still don't have a purple sprout yet. This center 
Duke Miss is supposed to be Brussels sprouts. I don't see a single Brussels sprout forming. But I do have some cabbages starting to form. This one starting to get hard, so that's going to be a little one, but it's still going to be delicious. Okay, my zinnias. Amazing. Um, I have a couple, what's the word, eggplant in here. They're nice and big, but I haven't seen any fruit on them yet, so... Um, some more. So this is where my issue is over here. Let me take you back over here. For some reason, this fake little one just doesn't seem to do great. But I'm finally starting to get some beans. My herbs are doing wonderful. You can see my sunflower head's already done. I had a beautiful, beautiful full patch of green beans here. But look, there, even the sun, the flowers, oh, the deer got them. And look, this was a sunflower. The deer took the top of that. They took the tops of these beans. They ate the tops of the potatoes over there. Um, so yeah, I did go ahead and Put down some more compost in here and I have replanted and I don't know why some of them are poking up but let's just poke them back in the ground but you do see some of them are already starting to come up my one kale plant is doing great okay over here we got some more green beans we got some lettuce we got my turnips uh-oh my red romaine looks like I got to pick that sooner than later. It's starting to bolt. Um, these are turnips. They haven't really been forming heads down here. I think I'm just going to end up pulling them. They're not really doing anything. They're just starting to bolt. These are my pet, my supposed to be sweet peppers. Um, that doesn't look like a sweet pepper to me. We'll see. Um, and then this is beautiful. This wonderful plant here is a spaghetti squash. And just look at all the spaghetti squash in there. And here I have um, sweet potatoes. And I have leeks in here. And then this is supposed to be sweet peppers on the top, hot peppers on the bottom. There's some more leeks in between them. Although this does not look like a leek. Um, I guess I'll deal with that later. But look at some of these spaghetti squash in here already. I've showed you some of the other ones. Look at him, how beautiful he is. And I got some more ones. They're just doing great. Oh, the spaghetti squash are just wonderful. Okay, but over to my monstrous bed. Um, the beans here are starting to do really well. I realized that when the chipmunks messed up all of mine, I have some Swiss chard in here. It's not just all beets. I was supposed to have a row of Swiss chard and a row of beets. And the chipmunks messed them all up. Got green beans coming on. So those are going great. I have another squash back here. I don't remember which. Oh, this one's a butternut. Um, I don't see any squash on it yet, but they're coming. Oh, yeah, there's a couple going to be blossoming soon. This is another native bed. And then here are my lovely tomatoes. Aren't they just beautiful? That one there is a watermelon beefsteak. Oh! And I have some basil and green beans planted here. Nasturtium's doing great. Huh. That one's got a little cat face. But I wanted to show you, so here's some of my onions that I've pulled. 
You see I bought a new bed on Amazon Prime Day. I haven't done anything with yet. My onions and garlic. Here's some more onions and garlic. I've got more onions in the house, in the garage. But I just wanted to say thanks for joining me on my garden tour. And you have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Bye. Thanks for watching.